Amy Adams star and Julie and Julia, a dual foodie fable chronicling the life of famed chef Julia Child and her greatest fan, Julie Powell. That's tomorrow at 25 to 10, but now Shortland Street. But Craig, no! The situation required action, but I cannot condone your behaviour. I think it's time you thought about booking yourself some time out. We all have crises of faith from time to time. No, it's more than that. I'm done, Chris. I'm done with medicine. You're just going to keep dishing out huge amounts of cash whenever she asks for it. Well, the DHB is obviously dishing it out for you. Here's to us. Long may we reign. <laughs> Okay, get a leader into him, grab Buzz and check his potassium. Carol, where are those x-rays on the leg? Still waiting, sorry. Give them a rev up. I want that leg plastered and gone. Got the bronchiolitis upstairs? Yeah. When are we ever going to get on top of this mess? You are kidding me. You're racy, Tracy. Tracy's here to help as a nurse. You're not an undercover cop anymore? I quit. No wonder. It did get a bit rough back there, didn't it? It did. Okay, help Kip and don't do anything unless he specifically tells you to, okay? Barrel, bottom off. She's done some retraining since before. Since before, when she was the worst nurse on the planet. Look, don't get me wrong, OK? I feel sorry for her, what she went through with Joey. But I don't need charity cases working in my department, Scotty. The agency said what they could. Neat. Oh, and you've got an MBA coming in? If you don't know, ask. Stuff up and you'll never work here again. Am I clear? Yeah. Ex-cop. We're still ex undercover. I'm still well clear, mate. Keep a hand. This is Rufus, yeah. Uh, OD'd on sleepers and went for a drive. Okay, straight to the recess, please. Unconscious on site, GCS of seven, pupils equally reactive, now in hypovolemic shock. Okay, put it back a drill up for this genius and organise emergent x rays. On the count of three, one, two, three. <laughs> Get another line in, get some bloods for a cross match. Four units of ONEG, thanks, Scotty. He's desaturating 87. Pneumothorax. Chest drain pack, please. Now would be good. Come on, come on. Okay, you have scheduled meetings at 10 and 10.30 with HR and accounts. Uh, HODs at 11 and DHB review at 12. And Scott Spear is still keen to donate that sculpture. That's right. Major artwork for free. Which will be a very nice tax write-off for them, anyway. How much is the sculpture worth? Uh, just over 150k. Right. Well, let's start moving on this right away. We don't want to seem ungracious, do we? Tell me, didn't I sign off on this already? You haven't even returned to the contract to me, but in any case, we're a bit busy. Uh, never too busy to receive free artwork. Central have one in their lobby, and it is brilliant. Lovely. Anyway, the HOD agenda. Uh, they never gave Chris a sculpture, did they, when he was CEO? Don't think he was particularly interested. Hmm. Right. Well, uh, make this a priority, OK? Right. And uh, tie in a bit of a do, you know, invite the right people. DHB, Scott Spear, that sort of thing. You know, I think this might be the start of something. I, I think my time here might be characterised by a bit of a renaissance. Art. Okay, is it in the right place? Yep. Oh, you're fast. Okay, there's your ribs. And that looks like your pelvic fracture. Keep with time, Mrs. Idiot, get a fun and game with and secure her. Yeah, but we're not going to hold that against them, are we? What are you getting? Pills. And the rest? Okay, when you're done, chase up toxicology. Oh, oh wakes. Okay, monitor here until there's a bed upstairs. Grab us a sang up more and see where you, mate. Will do. And, uh, nice job, by the way, mate. Yeah. Here, here. Ah, uh, cheers, Doris, on my tab. But you didn't have to pay for anything, you're a cop, huh? Scott Spear are so happy that we've accepted the sculpture that they're going to send it over this afternoon. Gee, that's quick. Mm, it's probably costing them a bomb in storage fees. Hmm. Suppose we better think where we're going to put it. Triage? 
I don't think so. Apparently it's quite large. Yeah, triage is pretty roomy. Occupational health and safety regulations don't permit high traffic areas to have. Hey, how about out the front? First thing people will see when they arrive is a hip and happening piece of Kiwi art. Oh, let's go spare now. Don't forget your 10 o'clock. Sorry, I couldn't help overhearing it. You're getting a sculpture? Yes, an original Reese Miller, and it's not costing us a cent. Wow. Have you seen it? Not the actual piece, no, but it's just the start of my vision. Sculptures in the gardens, more paintings and prints inside. Tell me, why didn't you ever do this? Bring art to the staff and patients? I guess I just don't have your vision. <laughs> Rufus, welcome back to Earth. You've been in a car crash, Rufus, right after you took a whole lot of pills and you've got a punctured lung and a fractured pelvis. On a positive note, you've got a first-class team doing the surgery to repair you. I wanted to die, you moron. Now I'll have to do it all over. When the pills wear off, you'll feel a whole lot better about things, OK? Get off me! Set <laughs> down, OK? Things seem worse than they really are. Like you'd know. I know that taking pills and driving means you risk the lives of others. Well, I can't care. You know what, maybe you're right. If you're just going to do this again, maybe we should just sit back and play cards while you inhale your own vomit and choke to death. Craig, could I uh, borrow you, please? Considering the guy is seriously screwed up, maybe suggesting he should be dead isn't the best way to go. Possibly. <clears throat> Dr Mackay? Yes? I have just found this on your desk. It's the contract relating to the sculpture donation. Right, and? Oh, have you read it? Just the top page, the rest is legal blah. No? I have just spent 20 minutes trying to persuade the artist to let us display the work outside. He refused, said it was all in the contract. I finally found the contract on your desk. And yes, he's right. The piece can't be installed outside. Oh. What about the boardroom? It's indoors, out of the way, a public space? No, not as public as I'd like. As we speak, the sculpture is being loaded on the truck. Hmm. Well, the boardroom will have to do for now. We'll find another place for it later. I'll check back with them. In the meantime, can you please read this? Yeah, absolutely. I'm right onto it, Libby. And you want Monsieur 11 o'clock? No way. All I'm saying is just be there for the unveiling, OK? Trust me, it will be an event. What's wrong with you? I'm more or less told an OD that he'd be better off dead. Oh. Was he abusive? No more than your usual OD. Mind you, this particular idiot hopped in his car after he'd popped the pills. Well, can't blame you for being a bit peeved. No, I was more than a bit peeved, Chris. I really didn't care if he lived or died. It's not a good look for a trauma consultant, is it? So where's this all coming from? That miserable little psycho Joey, for one. How so? Look, there's something I've never told you. After Alice knifed him, he was bleeding like a stuck pig. So I whacked a tourniquet on him. Then he started begging me to just leave him alone, let him die, because he knew what he was. He knew what he'd done to Alice. Said that he enjoyed it. Said he'd do it all again if he could. So I took the tourniquet off. Oh, boy. Joey was an evil, murdering psychopath. Sure he was. But would you have turned your back on him and let him die? No. Exactly. How's the Abdo pain going? He's faking it. He's a junkie. He's too weak to go out and mug an old lady. He's a junkie, Ugo. He's scum, Ugo. He's faking. Basically. I should respect your opinion, I guess. You're the expert at faking it. Can we just keep this professional, please? Sure. So how about you leave off your moral judgment of the guy and concentrate on the facts? Fact? The guy has track marks, the newest of which is a couple of days old. Fact, he originally complained of lower abdominal pain and then forgot and told me it was an old motorcycle injury, then had a snooze and woke up with cardiac pain. I'll look at him. Yeah, and could we just can the attitude, please? Excuse me for not trusting your professional judgment, but it sure stank when you were a cop. Like I don't know that. You're in the wrong job then. What's to say you're not in the wrong job now? Kip, 
I am trying to make a new start. I'm trying to make up for my mistakes and for not seeing what I needed to see, but I thought I had already been punished for that. So could you please just shove your smug, I've never made a mistake in my life attitude up your bum and give me a break. All sorted? No. Scott Spear just told me that their sculpture must be in a public area where it and their logo must be seen. So the boardroom doesn't qualify. Damn it. Hmm. Which means we have around 40 minutes to find a place for this thing to go. Hmm. All right. The hell with Oc Health and Safety. Stick it in triage. Fine. Moreover. Good. Sorted. Not quite. They also reminded me about the insurance and shipping costs, as detailed in the contract. Of course, insurance and shipping. We have to pay for it. Four grand? They're only in the next suburb. And here's how much they'll charge us for the ongoing insurance. Oh. Tracy. Tanya. Hey. Well, oh, you can't be undercover because um, I already know who you are. <laughs> no, I quit the force. I'm... Wow. Well, I mean, that's good for us. <laughs> this place is crazy with the flu thing. Yeah. Are you copying flag? A bit. Some people are still angry at the cops. Yeah, they have reason to be angry. Anyone in particular giving you a hard time? It's mainly Kip. It doesn't matter, I can handle it. Why has he been so mean? I don't know. He doesn't like my two-timing undercover past, I guess. I think some woman must have cheated on him once. Yeah. Mm. You? Mm. Yeah, and then he proposed and I turned him down. Is what Joey did to you why you leave the force? I mean, you were a victim too. Yeah, right. I'm alive and the others are dead. And so it's back to nursing. Speaking of which... Libby, what news? The sculpture is on its way. Great. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Scott Spear has just reminded me about the requirements for the unveiling tomorrow. Which were, don't tell me, in the contract. Uh, and these jolly old requirements remind me? Silver service catering, champagne on arrival, and brand specified. Let me guess. French. Yes. $100 a bottle. Great. Well, if we're going to make a statement, let's impress. So, tell the DHB, HODs, Northerner. Do you really want the media to know about this? Of course, if you're going to have a vision, share it. Shortland Street is going to embrace art. Free art. Yes, which is costing us a bomb. Well, nothing a little creative accounting can't fix. We have to look upon this as an opportunity. It's going to benefit the patients. That the healing powers of medical science meet the healing powers of art. Right here, in our own triage. If there's any numbness, come straight back in. Sure, thanks. Craig, would you mind having a look at this gentleman for me? Sure, in here. Talk to me. Lou's neighbour found him in a bad way. He's had flu symptoms for the past four days. He's febrile and appears to have bronchitis. OK, so we'll look at you then, Lou. Help me, someone! What's the problem? Oh, pain! Here. Oh. OK, I've just got a bronchitis to assess and we'll put her in cubicle one. Well, if she's query appendix, shouldn't she be seen first? The new clinical oh. pathways and all that? Clinical pathways, did I approve that? Yeah. Okay, then I can't moan about it, can I? So technically, yes, you're bang on. Bring her over. I'm sorry, mate, I've got to see another patient first. Oh, no worries, mate. Ladies first. <laughs> Something wrong? I uh, just thought I recognised her, that's all. You probably arrested her once. <laughs> Come on, Lou, let's see if we can't find you a cuppa. I'm sorry, you're so busy. Ah, don't mention it. We're here to help you. Meeting's the bane of my life. Have you heard about the new sculpture that Callum's organising? Sculpture? Why would he be organising a sculpture? He has a vision. Sorry, up to here with things. Organising artwork, I hear? Yes, that's why I have to cancel. Libby will reschedule. Callum? There is a truck en route with a Reese Miller sculpture worth 150000 and I have to be there when it arrives. Reese Miller? I'm impressed. 
Good, we'll come to the unveiling tomorrow. There'll be champagne and nibbles, and uh, I'm the start of what I'm hoping will be an artistic renaissance at this hospital. Gotta go. I'll be there, I can't wait. Oh, you like Reese Miller's work too? I'll be honest with you, Brooke, I'm still grappling with the concepts. A waste of time and money. Well, your white cell count is fine. There's no swelling over your appendix. It's cancer. I knew it. Well, I didn't feel any masses. But we'll keep you in here and do further tests, OK? Thank you, Doctor. Not at all. Uh, Craig, could I borrow you for a tip? Sure. Excuse me. Your patient? She's faking. Here we go again. I thought I recognised her from Central. I gave a mate of mine there a call and I'm sure that her name is Maria and she's a frequent flyer. No, her name is Judy. That's her sister, Maria, classic Munchausen's. How can you be sure? Did you find an old thoracotomy scar? She said it was from a car accident. It's a thoracotomy scar. Maria has one, Judy, her sister, doesn't. I don't have time for this crap. Maria? Yes? Sorry? Maria is your name, correct? Well, yes. Judy is your sister, correct? I suppose... Uh... There is nothing physically wrong with you, so please leave. We have patients up to here, OK? The last thing I need is time wasters preventing me from treating them. Boss, go easy, eh? And don't come back unless there's something actually wrong with you. Good, if you'd like yeah, to... Back to work, up. please, everyone. Now! How large is it going to be? I suppose we'll find out soon enough. It's going to be completely in the way. Yes, but won't it be nice to have some decent art about the place? It'd be nice to have a coffee machine and some more seats. It must be huge. Yep, Reese Miller likes big. And big is better, right? Of course, and we are hugely grateful to have it. Assuming there's still room for staff and patients, of course. Yeah, it does seem a bit crowded. <coughs> a flu epidemic happens every year. Yeah, we could clear some out, though, during the unveiling tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry? Uh, not a problem. We'll see to it. So I've got to take this. This is the busiest place in the hospital, and we're in the middle of a flu epidemic. How are we not supposed to have staff and patients here? Libby, I would really appreciate a can-do attitude right now. So you go back to work, and I will sort this out. Can I grab you for a seat? Sure. Excuse me? And it was me thinking you weren't going to find me till at least after lunch. <laughs> You're doing fine. No complaints from anyone, me included. So... So, I'm talking with your agency about supplying nurses over the busy period. Would you consider staying on for the week? Sure. Good. Congratulations. Yeah, right. No, I'm serious. First prize, one week in Sheldon Street ED. Second prize, two weeks. Are you being nice to me? Like he said, no complaints from me. Did you put in a good word for me? <laughs> I can't wait to tell the girls. No, I didn't. I just like... All right, don't have a spaz. I won't ruin your rep by saying you stood up for a slapper like me, God forbid. You're not a slapper, and I actually never said you were. No? No. Well, in that case, I apologise for telling you to stick your attitude. No, that was a fair call. I was being a tosser. Truce? Start over. Kip Denton. Tracy Morrison. <laughs> right. Well. Oh. Um. You should sit down to eat. I'm too busy. <clears throat> What's that? Dr. Mackay is putting in a sculpture. Better be a Michelangelo for all the bother it's going to cause. Uh, just the man. No, I can't stop motive. Yeah, the good news is we've been given a fantastic sculpture, the unveiling of which is tomorrow afternoon at three o'clock. Uh, I'm sorry, but I really... Yeah, the downside right. is we're going to have to accommodate our guests and use your exam as a waiting room. What? Just for a couple of hours, Craig. Well, where am I supposed to work? Well, do research. All of my stuff is in there, Callum. Confidential files. Yeah, minor inconveniences for the greater good. I'm sure Dr Freeman won't mind. We're using her exam as well. I'm sorry? Ah, Dr Freeman, good timing. I was just telling Craig here... Yes, I heard. Where am I supposed to see patients? Uh, we thought you could use TK's exam and the other locum can take a break. It's just for a couple of hours and, of course, we'd love it if you would join us. <coughs> Goodness sake. Your patience is greatly appreciated, Craig. <coughs> I know exactly how you feel. OK, 
strip up the fluids, and if you find yourself getting breathless, I want you to come straight back in, okay? Thanks. Sometimes I get sick of idiots, you know? Most of the time I'm fine. You expect upstairs to be morons or us, but some days. Is there anything in particular bugging you? Or... Callum's sculpture? Is... Don't ask. Craig, he's pulled out his chest drain. Oh, hell. Oh, mate, what did you do that for? Well, you know, go, isn't he? You couldn't get it right the first time. Do you want me to organise a chest x-ray? Tough. And don't worry, I won't give him instructions on how to do it properly the next time, tempting though that might be. I always thought people who self-harm need support, not judgment. Yeah, and you were taught right. Get them through the bad patch and they go on to lead reasonably happy lives. I know. Craig, that bronchitis guy, any chance you could get to him soon? In a word, no. I don't like the look of him. He's getting tired. <sighs> Here, as we all are, I have to do this first, OK? I'll check your guy after my next one, OK? Thank you. And uh, don't worry about the boss. He's a pussycat, really. Tracy, a hand here, please. Righto, everyone. If you just follow Kevin, he'll show you to a seat. Oh, you look... I could have broken my blimmin' neck. In the right place, then. Mm. Cheeky sod. Exciting, huh? Is this my mail? Yes. And no, it is not exciting. Look at this mess. Oh, good grief. Chris, that can't be right, can it? Wow. We don't pay that, do we? I mean, I, I thought this was supposed to be a donation. Uh, as I recall, the donor doesn't fork out for delivery or installation or ongoing insurance. How much is it? Delivery costs alone are close to $4,000. And if you look down here, that's the insurance. 28 grand for a free sculpture. Oh, it's only money, Justine. Surgical equipment may cost, but great art is priceless. This comes out of the hospital budget. Oh, we can always hold keg stalls for life-saving medical equipment. Dagon Mars, thanks. We need to clear a recess. What happened? Bronchitis guy. Looks like a CVA. Tracy suggested I check him my cord just as he collapsed. OK, let's get him up on the bed, people. OK, on my count. One, two, three. Ugh. All right, clear the way. The Operation Transformation leaders step up on the scales one last time ahead of their catwalk reveal. The grand finale is tomorrow night at 8 o'clock.